Alright guys, so to start off, I'm just going to use one of the Lush um, Knot Wraps just to cover up my chemise so I don't get any makeup on it. And then I'm going to prime my skin using the Smashbox Photo Finish uh, Primer. This is the Dark Spot Correcting one. I have no idea if they still sell this. I bought it like years ago and I'm just trying to finish it up now. Um, then down my T-zone, I'm going to use a little bit of the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This is their Smoothing Primer. It's very similar to like Benefits Professional. So I'm just like applying it to where I have really like large pores or I'm just not a huge fan of my skin texture. For foundation, I'm going to use a NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. This is an oldie but a goodie. I have it in the shade Cadiz, and I'm just going to pounce that onto my face using a beauty blender as per usual. Um, and then I'm going to use the Becca Corrector. I believe the shade is called Papaya, but if that's wrong, it'll have the correct name in the description box below. Um, someone asked me in the comments recently like if I like it, and I think it's a touch dark for me. Um, sometimes I can see it through my concealer. So definitely kind of, depending on your own skin tone, like check which one would work better for you, like the lighter peachy one or papaya. Um, but today it worked pretty well with the uh, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. Um, I can't quite remember the shade name. Again, it'll be in the description box below. Um, but yeah, just putting that down the center of my face and on top of that corrector underneath my eyes and uh, blending it all out with that same beauty blender. Then quickly just baking underneath my eyes with the Ben Nye Banana Powder as per usual, I am going to move on to my eyebrows. For today's eyebrows, I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the shade Chocolate. Um, and then I'm going to set them in place with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I kind of went back to this one. I've been using the Benefit brow gel for a very long time now, like ever since it got released. Um, but I pulled out the Anastasia one to use on client the other day and I was like, huh, oh, like maybe I'll try it again. And I'm a fan, but it definitely super glues your eyebrows down and like when I go to take my makeup off at the end of the day, like it's really hard to get it off and like get your eyebrows look normal again. Uh, moving on to eyes, I'm going to start off with the Nude Sticks Magnetic Eye Color. This is in the shade Gilt. Uh, now these magnetic eye colors are amazing, but you have to work very quickly with them because they set incredibly quickly. Like I was so surprised. Like I was told it set quickly, but didn't realize it would be that quick. Uh, for most of my eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using the Zoeva Cocoa Blend Eyeshadow Palette. Starting off with um, a mixture of Substitute for Love and Freshly Toasted. I'm just going to apply that on the outer part of my eye and kind of in the crease. Probably should have done this before the Nude Sticks Pencil. Um, this is pretty much my transition shade, but we're just going to roll with it. Uh, then all over the... No. Next, I took just Freshly Toasted, which is the deeper brown. Um, on a Sigma E25, so like a slightly less fluffier brush, but still a pretty blendy brush. Um, and I just kind of deepened up that outer eye and like a, like half of my crease, just to create a nice like gradient effect. And once I did that, I just pinched the brush and put a little bit along my lower lash line just to keep everything really cohesive and balanced. Next, I'm going to use Subtle Blend, and again, just creating a really nice gradient effect. If you guys have the time, like, the more you can go from a light shade to a deep shade in the outer part of your eye, the better it will look. So after that, I used Pure Ganache, which is a gorgeous gold shade. I initially used a MAC uh, 242, but it wasn't really depositing enough pigment for me, so I went in with my fingers, and I love the effect so much more. Then just blending out the edges, making sure it all looks really nice. I'm going to go in with the deeper shade in the palette. This is called Beans Are White. And again, just kind of patting it along that outer part, just trying to deepen up the look, make it look really nice. And I wouldn't say smoky, but just have a nice gold to deep, deep brown look about it. Uh, you can see I pretty much stabbed my eyeball at some point, but I'm just going to pinch that brush with Beans Are White still on it and just applying that to the very outer part of my lower lash line. Going back in with the Nude Sticks pencil just for my inner corner. I'm then going to take the Chloe Smirillo Ciate Pretty Fun Fearless Eyeshadow Palette, taking the shade Vacay. You guys know I've been loving this technique lately. It's just a lighter gold, and I've just patted it on the center of my eyelid to really catch the light. And then I also apply that on my inner corner because it's a little bit lighter than pure ganache. So again, nice gradient. 
Then taking Vacay, I'm just going to apply that to my brow bone. Moving on to eyeliner, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper just to create a thin line and a bit of a wing. I was pretty happy with my wing today. Um, it wasn't perfect, but it'll do. Uh, and then just to tight line and waterline, I'm going in with my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade 0. Uh, prepping my lashes for falsies, I'm going to go in with the MAC Extended Play Lash Mascara on both my bottom and my top lashes. And then for lashes, I use the Velour Lashes in the style Girl You Crazy. For contour today, I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs Insta Filter. This is in shade Hi-Fi 60. I'm just going to contour out some cheekbones and my jawline, a little bit on my temples as well. And then just to bronze up a little bit, I'm going in with the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And then for blush, I'm using an oldie but a goodie. This is the MAC blush in the shade, I think it's pronounced Sun Basque or Sun Basque. Um, the spelling will be in the description box below for those that want to know more about it. But it's just a really nice peachy shade. Uh, for highlight today, I am using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. And I went a little bit heavier handed than I usually would. I use the Inglot 4S brush because it's a little bit more dense than the Duo Fiber one I usually use. And yeah, just apply that on, above my eyebrows, brow bone, uh, tops of the cheekbones, dip of my nose, tip of my nose, cupid's bow, and a touch on my chin as well. Moving on to lips, I use the Tartus Lip Pencil in the shade... Thirsty, which is pretty much the closest thing I have to a red right now. And then over the top, I use the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Outlaw. Finishing off the whole look with a spritz of MAC Fix Plus. I know I'm going to get asked where I got my jewellery from. It's from Chandani Bridals. I'll link their Instagram in the description box below. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the new year. Have a lovely New Year's Eve and see you in the next one. Bye.